Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Izundu if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. We have another fortnight of Shop My Stash and I had a big one this rotation because I thought I was going to use a lot of it and I did. I did. Um, we have pictures. I did not take a picture of every look because I did forget sometimes. <laughs> uh, but generally, I think I did pretty well. Uh, there were a couple of things I didn't use, but let's get right into it. I'm just going to show you everything that I did, show you the looks, and then we'll go over into my makeup drawers and pick some new makeup. I'm kind of feeling a theme, and I'm going to think about that theme while we go through these items. So I usually start with my primer. This primer is the Becca First Light. I actually um, added it into my project pan so you can see that I have marked it. And so that will be going in my project pan drawer and moving over there because I thought once it settled, I realized I'd already used about half of it and this is a perfect product to pan because the brand no longer exists. I like the product and I'm already halfway down. So that is gonna be moved over to that spot. Next, we have another primer. I have the NARS. I did not use that this much. I did not use this that much. This is the Light Shade Calavoya. Um, and it is very pretty, but I don't notice a, bit, a big change. Like it doesn't have much of an illuminating effect. It's very, very natural. Um, but I will put this back and use it another time. But yeah, I think I wanna try something else this fortnight. Uh, did I have any other primers? I have my blurring stick, which I just love to have in my shop, my stash, because it's just so easily accessible. Just over here, I have my drawers. I'll give you a quick little look. Oh, hey. Um, here we have my drawers. So I have my project pan, shop, my stash, and then just some random everyday items. So I like to have some items that I use every day, like these two that I don't really wanna put back in my collection because I use them regularly. Uh, so that's the under eye corrector. I always keep that in my shop my stash, even though it's not a shop my stash item. And um, this is one of those items too. It's so nice and blurring. You won't be able to see, but it blurs really nicely and it doesn't affect your makeup. I will, <sighs> Will I keep it in? I just really enjoy using it. So I think I'll just keep it in and just have it there for when I want it. Concealer. I had this concealer and this concealer. Oh, I had three. I didn't use this one. I'm just, I did fake tan and this is just so light that I ended up not using it as I thought I was. I know it's a foundation stick, but it's way too light as a foundation. So I thought I might use it as a brightening concealer, but I didn't use it. Do I keep it in? I might keep it in, see if I do use it. Um, so I still don't know if I like it as a concealer. I still haven't done it. So I'm gonna keep that one in. I have my Too Faced Peach Concealer in the shade Buttercream. I think I only use this once or twice, if I'm honest. I'm almost at the end of this one, so I was really powering through this one. And this is good for me when I'm fake tanned. Um, I will put this back. I used it a couple of times. I, I, I quite like it. It's not my favorite, but I, I don't dislike it either. So I'll put that one back. And then my Jouer, I think I'm gonna keep it in. I really am so close to finishing it. Can you tell? I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm starting to scrape it. I might have to lay it on its side to get that bit at the bottom because the doe foot's not reaching that at the bottom. Um, so I might do that. I might keep it in and keep it laying down. Foundations. I had a few foundations here. So this has also been added into my project pan. This is my Face Atelier Ultra Foundation, and you can see why I'm about halfway. It's actually my favorite foundation, but it's getting quite old and I have to use it. Um, no more, I used to just keep this for when I went out, but I just don't go out like I used to, so I need to use it. So this is going into my project pan. I'm in the shade Two Ivory. Absolutely fantastic. I rave about it on my channel all the time. Um, so that will be going in that drawer. We've got my Shiseido. I think I use this once or twice. I didn't use it a lot. Um, it is a little bit fairer and like I said, I was a little, I've been gradual tanning and fake tanning, just kind of experimenting. Um, so I didn't use this as much purely because of the color. Um, but yeah, I did use it, just not enough. I will put it back. 
Uh, here we have my Too Faced Peach Perfect. Now with this, I wasn't planning on using it a lot, but it was new to me from work, and it is the shade Marshmallow. And it is the tiniest bit too light, so I need to darken it, darken it with another foundation or my darkening drops. I used it once, and I actually really liked it. It is definitely more on the matte side, more of my full coverage, but I quite liked it, because it is called a Comfort Matte. Did not like the scent. I hate the smell of fake peach, um, and I have quite a few peach. The reason why I have these peach products is because this doesn't exist anymore. So all the unused testers went to us staff. So this is unused, and the concealer was unused. But I got it because the product no longer exists, and the and the testers that were in the drawers unused. They they go to us. So I get all these beautiful free product. Um, and yeah, so I do really like this. I used it once, liked it. I'm gonna put it back because it's not something I would wear all the time. But I just wanted to play with it and see if I didn't like it, and I did like it. And then lastly, I have my Mecca Mac Selfie Skin in LC3 Cream. And yeah, I've spoken about this before, I love this. I had it in my last rotation because I'm trying to get it low. I'm gonna put it back. Um, but it's something that I do want to finish up soon. There's a few foundations that I have that are low that I want to bring in this rotation as well um, to basically get some products out of my collection so then I can play with my newer ones. What is next? Let's do brow. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Blonde. I actually really like the blonde. I hadn't really used this so I wasn't sure what my opinion was. And I really like it. I like having a fairer brow. I do have fair brows. I would say my brows are the same color as this shade. Um, so I really like it for my more natural days where I just want a little bit of fill in. And then I used my Mecca Max Brow Guru Super Soap. I have the Ulta 3 one, the brow soap. And I actually think I prefer that one. I do find this gets a little bit gunky. A little bit um, like when it sets, it gets a, I don't know. I don't know if I love this, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'll put those back. Let's go face products. I did a lot, didn't I? So two powders. I usually do a pressed and a loose. This is my press, the Mac Studio Fix in NW15. And I've really come to enjoy this one. It's very light, so I use it for brightening in my T-zone and under eyes. And yes, it's a powder foundation, but no, it doesn't get too cakey. I absolutely love using this. I love, love, love using this. Pop that back. And then I didn't use this that much. Uh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me, and I do like the formula, but I don't love the color. It can be a little bit yellow on me. I'm just a little bit, I find it a little bit more finicky because of the color, but the formula is good. So I will put it back. I did use it, but not as much as I used the MAC one. Um, I found that just a little bit easier to work with. And let's go into highlight. I have my W7 Glow Commotion. Love this one. Absolutely love this one. I'm glad that I pulled this one in, got a little bit more use out of it. Um, still doesn't look like I've used it much, but I just use it all the time. I don't understand. <laughs> um, can we get any angle? Can you see any dent at all? Maybe not. I don't know. Some highlighters just are so hard to show any progress on. But yeah, I love this one. Uh, I use this one probably the most. Then I have my Colitis Moon Cruiser. I didn't use it again, so I've got to put it back. And it's not because I don't like it. It's just the shade is so unique. Um... I don't often use like a bluey highlighter. So I didn't use it. It's just because I was doing really warmer toned, <sighs> natural, more natural looks. I just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to pop this one back, unfortunately. Um, my Huda, Huda Booty uh, Fair Tantor. I loved using this. I use this quite a lot in the Fortnite. I used it a lot. You can kind of tell. This is brand new to me, basically. I got this a few weeks ago, but I only used it like once. And then it, once I put it in my shop, my stash, I was just using it every day. And I've got a nice little dent in there now. I just love using this. It's on par with the um, NARS Laguna cream bronzer that I got, which I also really love. I find them quite similar. I'd say the Laguna one is a little bit warmer. Um, but, oh, God, I love both of them. So I'll put that back. Then my two powder bronzers. I have my Ulta 3. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this is very 
densely packed and it doesn't show up much. Definitely for fairer skin only. It just doesn't do a lot. It's nice if you like really, really natural because it does show up and it has an, it looks nice on the skin, but you've really got to go in there. I think, I think it's just a little bit too hard pressed in my opinion. And then I have the XX Revolution in demo. And this is more of a ready toned kind of bronzer. Um, yeah, and this one's a little bit, these are not my favorite bronzers. I think I need to bring in a bronzer that I really enjoy next. Um, not bad. I think when I first got it, it was really dry, but it is starting to get a little bit smoother. I think maybe the embossing made it dry. I'm not sure. So it is, see, that looks really nice on my skin. I think as I get into it, it's getting a little bit nicer. So yeah. Definitely getting creamier. It's a strange, strange formula. All right, face palette. This is my face palette. I use this so much. I took this on my little getaway. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, I'm linking it up here. I just did a little bonus video of my um, holiday makeup uh, that I traveled with on the weekend. And I just got back today and I thought I'd film this. So I use this quite a lot because just has those beautiful tones that I love. So we've got the bronzer, highlight, and then the eyeshadows. And I love these eyeshadows. I just love them. This is so pretty. That They're just so pretty. So we've got two cooler tone and two warmer tone. It's just my favorite palette to travel with. So I got really good use out of this one. I use this once. I don't know if I, re I, don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this. It just washes me out. It's almost too light and too natural. If it's gonna be light, I need it to be really sparkly and it's just like a dull shimmer. I don't really like this if I'm honest. I've really tried. I'll show you a picture and it did not look good on its own. I've tried it putting it over eyeshadows and it just doesn't do anything. It's just a bit blank. My ColourPop I liked to use as just a little topper. I actually use this with bronzer in my crease and then I put this over the top if I wasn't really wearing makeup, couldn't be bothered doing my eyes. Such a pretty shade, so I really enjoyed using that. And that is, I heart this. This, oh God, I hate the packaging, but I love the product. This is one of my most beautiful eyeshadows that I own in my whole collection. No one knows about it. It is the Floor, I was gonna say flawless. Thurless Cosmetics, they are now, they no longer exist, unfortunately. During the pandemic, they kind of went under. Um, this is a pigment called Adulterated. Oh, it's got to be, it's, it's too beautiful. I just wanna change the packaging. If I end up finding or finishing a product that has a small container, I'm gonna put this in it because I, no one can buy this. The packaging doesn't matter if I show it on camera but I have to keep this product. It's just one of my favorites. Let's see if we can capture it in all its glory. It's like liquid gold, it's insane. So definitely keeping that. And then my two eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God, I stopped filming and I forgot this palette that I used. I had it tucked away. <gasps> Good Lord, thank God I saw it before I packed everything away. Okay, so this is gonna be inserted, but just know that I almost forgot this. <laughs> this is the Chi Chi Super Nudes palette and I loved, loved using this palette so much. And this is the one that I decluttered. Why did I do that? I just don't understand me. Um, but this is an absolute gem of a palette. These shimmers are outstanding so pretty so pretty what was I doing throwing this out so yeah um, I didn't get to use it as much as I wanted because I had the other palettes as well I thought I was missing something there you go trust your instincts um, <laughs> so yeah I would love to bring this in again another time I'd really like to do like maybe an Australian themed shop my stash or something that might be fun um, and yeah, this was really, really fun to use. I still haven't used all the shadows because there's quite a lot here. Um, but yeah, so sorry. Oh my God, why am I apologizing? You don't know that. You're here watching the edited version. I almost very closely missed putting this in and I would have 
kicking myself when I was editing. Here we have The Warrior by Juvia's Place. Staple. I mean, I don't really need to tell you how amazing this is because it is. And if you saw my last shot, my stash, the swatches of this, you, you, can't, you can't beat it. It is just perfection. So it's all about the shimmers with this one. Loved it. And then I had Pop Culture, which is my cooler toned, it looks a bit dirty, from Australis. And I used this a couple of times, I didn't use it enough. I did a blue look. I used this shade probably the most. I love this shade. I thought the Duochrome would be my favorite, but this one here, it is so nice. And it goes on this pigmented on the eye. It's so pretty, it's like a bluey silver. I'm in love, I'm in love with it. Um, yeah, so I don't feel like I use this enough. I really focused on this NARS one, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I enjoyed using it for the fortnight. So lastly, oh, I didn't do my, I didn't do my cheeks. Oi, how could I forget? I bet you guys were there watching it being like, Sam, you just pushed all your cheek products away. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Blurred Buff. Love this one. Really nice, neutral, warm. It looks like a bronzer, but when it goes on the skin, it's got a really nice terracotta orangey warmth to it. It's really pretty. I didn't use this. I think it's because it's the color. <sighs> Why didn't I use it? Do I keep it in? I might keep it in. Milk makeup, I'm so bad. Every time I put this in, I don't use it. And I don't know why, I like the color. I think I'm just such a powder blush person. I think that's what it is. I need to use this more. Lip and cheek in the shade Rally. So I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna try and use that again. This one, oh my word, this is so stunning. I'm in love with this. This is my new, one of my new favorite blushes. This is a Moira Beauty, the Sunflower Beauty Blushing Goddess Duo. Oh, look at this. So to mix them, it makes like a nice orangey color. Wait, and it's really pretty orangey color. You can do just that and give yourself that like red apple cheek look. You could do just yellow. What I love doing the most with this, I'm just absolutely loving it. Cause I'm quite fair skinned. I'm doing with just the yellow, putting that all over my cheek and then just dabbing a little bit of the red in the center. I love it. It looks a little strange. It's not a usual blush look, but I'm obsessed with it. I just love this blush. I love it. My last blush is the NARS Claudette. Very easy and simple to use. Love this shade, love this shade, love the mixed shade. Okay, and then we have lips. I was very ambitious with lips uh, because I also bought my Gucci Beauty with me on my holiday and I use that quite a bit. We have an issue. I was like, Am I gonna use this? I didn't use this in my last rotation, so I kept it, didn't use it again. How about that? So it's going back. It's a beautiful color, I just didn't use it. It's because I have bought my Gucci Beauty, which is very similar to this one. So, a bit disappointed with myself there. I did not use the Lime Crime Cupid just because it's a pinky shade. It's actually a really nice look with my nails, isn't it? I should have used it. Should I leave it in? I might. I might leave it in because that's actually a very pretty shade that I didn't use and I should have. So I'm going to put that back. I use this one. I realize because this one doesn't exist anymore because they brought out the new ones. Uh, this is the NYX lingerie and this is the shade push up. This is something I would like to pan because I love using it, but you can't get it anymore. So something I would use as an everyday lip. So I'm thinking about panning this. Yes, I am thinking about it. I'm gonna put it back for now. I have my uh, Kaleidos Lip Clay in Mercury Wave. I wore this once, it's not an everyday item. It's a nice purple shade. And I actually wore it in a video, so you'll be able to see that picture. I have this, I only wore this one once. This is the Sydney Grace Lip Cream in the shade Claire. Absolutely beautiful. Love this warm color. And this is my favorite lip cream formula. 
And then lastly, I have my Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in Fiano. I did wear this. Did I take a picture with this? I don't remember. If I did, you'll see a picture. And it's very sheer. And I like to use it with a lip liner. Okay, that's all going back. Let's get some new makeup, shall we? Okay, so here we have my loose powder, pressed powder, setting sprays and primers. I'm not pregnant anymore, so I can sit on the floor. <laughs> um, I actually want to use, I've been thinking about using this um, loose powder. I haven't used it in a while. This is the Cover FX. This would be a powder I'd like to pan because it not really talked about anymore. This is the shade light and it is the matte setting powder. Really, really like this. I love this for going out. Um, so it can be a little bit messy. It's a good travel one too because it's small. I really like using this one. Ooh. So we're going to add that one in. And I just got my new Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder. Let's take this out. I've used it once. I got the shade Fair Light number two. And it is not Fair Light. I'd say more light. Um, it adds a bit of color to my face when I'm not fake tanned, but it's okay. I think I can get away with it when I have gradual tan on, but not when I have nothing on. So let's add that in. I don't need this packaging. Okay, setting spray. Actually, no, I don't need a setting spray. I have all of these. I just finished one and I've got a new one. That's the play one. It's like a lime green. I've already put it up there. So... I'm gonna use that, just because I have so many of them. What am I gonna use? I've got my Project Pan Primer, which is more luminous. It's between these two. I think I want the ELF. The ELF Poreless Putty Primer. I'd like to get a bit more use out of this one. Can we see? Yeah, we can see a bit of a dent in there, so I'd like to expand that. All right, that's good for that. Okay, so here we have primer, full medium to full coverage, light to medium face palette. So let's start, I usually start with my foundations. That helps me match a concealer. So let's go over here. So back here are my fake tan darker shades. Um, which I wouldn't mind having an option for because I don't really plan when I fake tan, but uh, I actually want to bring this one in. No, I need to try and finish. I need to try and finish products. Actually, up here, it's not even here. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. It's a little bit dark for me, but it's good with gradual tan. Two and one cashew. There's not much in here, so I'm going to add that one in. And actually, while we're here, I've got this up there that I put it up there to remind myself I wanted to put it in my shop mustache. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the old one. And I got another one from work because they repackaged. We got the old package. So this is 1W1 Porcelain. And this one's quite low. But this one here is quite full. 1C1. So I want to get, I want to use this one because I have a whole another one here. So let's put this one in. Trying to get some usage. I really want to focus, maybe I can focus on using products that are quite low um, to try and windle down some, because I have so many. So that's good for those two products. Um, I might put in one more. Might add this one in. This is the Revlon Candid Glow in shade 120, and you can see I've had some use out of that. This is very sheer, so I might use this for my sheerest days. So I'm not really wearing much at all, so I'll put that one in too. So concealer, I want. Okay, I'm definitely gonna put this one in. This is my Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. That'll go well with my Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturizer it's a little bit more yellow toned and it's a medium coverage this one's getting really low too maybe i'll add this one in it's very light okay i'm gonna add this one in 
because I can always deepen it up with my Jouer if it's too light. Um, I want to get more usage out of it. You can see I've got a lot of use out of it and I'd like to dwindle it down a bit. This is the ELF 16 hour camo concealer. So the other one was the hydrating and then this is the regular one in fair beige. So this is more pink and it's quite fair. A face palette. Um, I actually think I'd like to put this one in. Well, that's a big hair of mine. This is my Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Blush Quad in the from the Ghost Christmas Collection. And I haven't used it in a while and they're so pretty. They're all unique shades. I don't think these ones exist. I always pick so much blush. <laughs> I do love a blush palette, don't I? Okay, highlighter, cream, blush, bronze. Let's go. I want my Huda. I haven't used this one in a bit. This is the fair shade. Oh, sorry, not fair, light, which is the lightest one. And I love using this one. So let's bring this one in. I haven't used it. Actually, no, I'm using more usage, aren't I? What am I doing? What am I doing? In that case, I want to bring in the NARS Laguna. We all know it and love it. Let's try and expand this pan a bit. Um, potentially, no, I've actually got my project pan as well. Yes, I think I'm going to just do that, this, this rotation. Maybe next rotation I'll do more like new products. I want to play with, I don't know. But this one I think will do more, let's get some usage out of products um, that I've had for a while or is getting there, you know. Um, for highlighter... God, I really don't like my highlighter collection, if I'm honest. I don't like it that much. And I hate the packaging of all my highlighters. They're so bulky. Oh, This one doesn't exist anymore, but I love it. It's from the brand Hey Glisten. Um, they were just a little indie brand that no longer exists. This is a shade Bex and it's a loose highlighter. It's so pretty. I've used it a lot. And I, would, I don't want to get rid of it because I love using it. So I'm going to put this in and try and get some more use out of it. Do I have it? Oh, what have I done? This face palette is not well loved. Let's go back to my face palettes. The thing is, my well loved face palette I just had in for like a whole month. So I don't think I'm going to do that because I've been using it too much, you know. A little too much. Actually, maybe I'll put this. Actually, oh yeah, I might do this um, highlighter palette. Yes, this is very well loved and I'd like to make some dent in it. Yeah, let's put this one in. This is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm gonna put the, the blush back. As I'm trying to get some usage. Um, maybe I'll put this in. This is a bit of an odd one, but I actually really love it. <laughs> Too Faced, it's from their Snow Collect, the oh, Christmas holiday collection a while ago. Blush and a little eyeshadow quad. Um, I typically use just these two, these two are duds, but the blush is nice. So let's put that one in. Okay, so let's go back to cream. Something that I've had a while. A lot of the cream products I had for a while I decluttered. We're going to put in my Fenty Beauty Chili Mango blush. It's actually very well loved, but you wouldn't know it. Okay, I really enjoy using this. It's like a stark orange. So let's put that one in. Older too. Um, um, let's put this one in. Velvet Melon. It wasn't in that long ago, but I've basically hit pan. So let's try and get some more usage out of that. That's from Cossus. Sorry, I should have said that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have. I just, I mean, this one would be a contender, but I just had this, the Baridi bronzer, in my 
rotation. So I've got that blush. Okay, let's put this blush in. Yeah, let's put the By Terry one in. This is the Brightening CC blush. I'm gonna put this highlighter back because of the highlighter palette. And blush, okay, come on blush. I don't have a lot of pan in blush. Um, this one, let's put this one in. This is a big used one. Let's put this one in. Milani Pink Play Color Harmony. It's a nice cool tone blush. This would actually do really well with my um, cream bronzer, the Rally one from Milk. And what else is well loved? Maybe a Lime Crime actually. My Anthurium. I need to get more usage out of these. I love these. Yeah. Be pretty close to pan on that one, actually. Let's put that one in. That'd be cool if I could hit pan on something. Okay, that is the software blush from Lime Crime in Anthurium. I've got a lot of blush. This happens to me every time. We've got a bronzer. Yeah, we've got the one bronzer. All right, that's it. Okay, so we're just gonna focus on brows and single shadows here. Ones that I've had for a while. I don't have that many that I've had for a while. That's glitter. I don't really want to use glitter. It'd be this one. It could be this one. And this one I've had for a while. Um, maybe a Mecca Max. Or well, maybe this one, the Hourglass. In the shade, scattered light in the shade Burnish. Yes, I hate this because my nails dig into it. I'll just reduce the exposure. Maybe we'll put that one in. That's a nice, easy one to wear. And you know, I've had this Kiko one for a really long time. This is Kiko Milano number 200, long lasting wet and dry eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. Let's put this one in. Yeah, it's really nice and easy to use and very pretty. Okay, let's do that one. And yeah, I don't really want to put a shimmer. I find shimmer is very a particular moment, you know? in hey let's put this purple glitter in I don't know if yeah let's do it that could be pretty while I'm here I'm gonna show you my anthurium blush I have I forgot to swatch things it looks really pretty on fair skin kind of blush my Cossus velvet melon that's the blush there and I'll show you the highlight They're a nice little duo. These are by Terry. It definitely shears out. It's got that CC serum in it. It's very pretty. These are generally the two that I use. And they're quite blinding, as you can see. <laughs> And my Milani blush, what's this one here? It's got a nice luminosity to it. And then this little face palette here, it's quite pigmented. And I'm just gonna show you these two because that's pretty much what I'm gonna use. There we go. So that one is this one and then the other one is this one here. And they're really nice topper shades. Okay, that's that. Brows. I want to use... I'm going to pick this precisely my brow number three. Number two is my favorite shade. Number three I also love, um, but I've had it for a while. Let's see how much we have left. Oh my God, that's all I have left. 
So I will finish this for sure this fortnight. Okay. Well, there we go. I'll probably end up finishing a whole product. Okay. So here are all my lipsticks. I need to make some room. Okay. Gosh, what am I going to pick? Is there anything that I've been wanting to take? Mm. Let's start with gloss because that's always easy, isn't it? Let's take my Fenty. I haven't used it in a while. This is my, oh no, what a theme. Keep forgetting my theme. That should be easy because I have a lot that need a bit of loving. There we go. I just had to destroy everything to get this one. Okay, this is the Urban Decay Back Talk. I used to use this all the time. So let's put that one in. It's quite well loved. That's a nice, easy, everyday one. I also want to use this one. I used to use a lot and I haven't in a while. This is the um, Winky Lux in the shade Dirty Love. It's this beautiful, let me clean my hand. This is the Dirty Love by Winky Lux. It's like a brick red. It's really pretty and it's a really good formula. And I'll show you the back talk and lipstick. I really want to use my Ultra 3 orange shade in Fire Breather. This will pair nicely with my um, blush stick by Fenty, the Chili Mango. These are older. These are potentials. That's a potential. I'm just taking some items out that I haven't used in a while and then we'll pick. This is what I have to pick. So I've got two glosses here. I'm going to pick one. I've got my Savvy, which is a pink. And then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I have quite a lot of nudes here, so let's go for the Savvy, the pink one. And this is really, it's a really pretty gloss. Um, in terms of liquid lip, these are all lip creams. I think I'll put that back because I've got that pink. Um, I could do another lippy. I'm just swatching them to see what I want to pick. And I will show you. Oh my God, they look exactly the same. <gasps> These two look exactly the same. That's the NYX and that's the Too Faced. Do they not look the same? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go the this one. So the last rotation I had push up and this one is cashmere silk. And then let's pick one of these. So these are my Astralis Girl Boss lip creams. I have the shade Empower and Me. I think I had Empower in not long that not long ago. So let's put me in. Oh, okay. And it's this kind of light pinky shade. That's nice. Okay, feeling that. Okay, so here's all my eyeshadows. That's a mirror. Uh, if we're gonna go for older, older and used, I actually, there's one that I really wanted to use oh, that I haven't used in ages, but it's not well loved. It's the Melt Cosmetics 420. I've only used it a couple of times and I keep wanting to put it in rotation. Okay, I'm just gonna keep this to the side as maybe like a go for it, Sam. Uh, what's some of that's well loved? Oh, maybe my Lime Crime. This was a, one of my first ever like really nice eyeshadows that I bought for myself. This is the original Venus. I actually love this palette. So let's put this in. This shade here I want to hit pan on and I think that would be the next one that I hit pan on. It's quite it's quite a dip, but these are really deep pans. I don't know if you can tell, but they're really deep. So the fact that I've hit pan on two is quite impressive. So let's put that one in. Um, this one is really well loved too. This is the NYX lingerie. Maybe I'll put that in. That's a really nice, easy, everyday palette to use. They're all mattes. I will do swatches. That's pretty well loved. This one, the Fenty, it's a really nice topper. Should I put this one in? 
Oh my god, I should put this one in. It's all shimmers, and then I've got all mattes. I used to love this palette. Let's do this one. Oh my god, funsies. I've got these three. I think I will pick one more. The Deuce or the Warrior? Maybe the Deuce. It's nice and colourful. And I love this palette. And then we have the Warrior. That's also an all mattes, so I'm not going to do that because I've got the NYX, which is all mattes. I'm going to put that back. I'll do that in my next rotation, I think. All right, so we've got four eyeshadow palettes. Let's do some swatches. Never really hear anyone talking about this palette. I find it just a nice, really easy palette to use. It's quite a nice formula, as you can see. And then I'll just do this one. Yeah, see? Just a really nice, easy, everyday matte. And then we have Lime Chrome. She beat up. She's very beat up. Let's go this one. Love this shade. Another really underrated palette. Very versatile. Mine's a little dry now because it's so old, but I don't think, I personally think eyeshadows are fine. Look at that. Look at that color. That looks like Rebellion from the new Natasha Denona Retro palette. It's a really light, I've got accidentally put color in it, but it's a really light shimmer and it's so pretty. It looks really nice on the eyes. So there's that one. Okay, let's get this beautiful gold, this beautiful one. I love this chocolate one and this purple. God, I love it. This palette reminds me of uh, Lauren May Beauty. Like this is something she would love because it's just all these beautiful shimmers. Like the quality of that, look at that. It's just stunning. So let's do this blue. This weird looking one here, this green, and this one. Oh, I love that blue, icy blue. Look at that, oh my word. And then last but very not least, we have the Deuce by Juvius. Such a classic. You know what Juvius Place does really well? Unique colors. This shade here is the most beautiful, unique transition shade. I might get a little bit of glitter accidentally because of Fenty. I love this shade. Gosh, it's just blended into my skin, but on my eyes, I love it. The pink. So these are all the mattes. And that one, I'm not going to bother doing that one. Pretty. And then we're going to the spectacular oh, shimmers. This pink shifted white is one of my favorites. Of all time. Look at that pink. Jeez Louise. This white does something to me, I tell you what. That one didn't do very well, did it? That's a bit disappointing. And then the green. Oh, yeah, green. Love it. That is all the makeup that I have for the fortnight. I'll be putting it in my drawers. I'm very excited. I think we're going to have some really nice pretty looks coming up and I'm hoping that I feel re-inspired to use my older makeup that needs a bit more usage. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this idea. Give me some ideas for next future shop mustaches that you like in terms of themes. I'd really, really love to hear your feedback and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.